right. In today's video, I want to talk about a really simple but crucial concept that I was introduced to about two years ago. I think this was Gary Vaynerchuk, but I'm not sure. It's called building your runway. And here's what I mean by that. So if you want to do something in your life, you want to chase your dreams or whatever everyone says, right? You need a few things before you start doing that stuff. Like for me, going to New York was amazing, but I did some stuff before that that you didn't see. Well, you, you saw part of it, but not all. That wasn't that fun, but that led me to making New York possible. A lot of people talk about having the foundations to do something, like you need the skills and the knowledge and all that stuff. I believe this is old talk, like this is not true at all. You can only learn what you need to learn or what you'll have to be able to do for whatever it is you want to do when you're doing it or while you're doing it. So that's a foundation. I don't believe you need that because you can keep building on your foundation. Knowledge will always change and you just need to learn how to adapt to that. But a runway, however, is way more important. Right now in my life, I'm building a runway for starting a company in New York. I'm working for a construction company. This is part of building my runway. So five days out of seven, I work eight to 10 hours a day and I make money. And I'll need this in order to achieve my goal. The second is credibility. What I'm gonna do in New York is somewhat comparable to what I'm doing now, kinda. It's the same world or it's the same uh, industry. So everything I'm doing here helps me to build up credibility and to get to know more about the space before I actually start doing it. So that's the second thing. That's also important when you're building a runway is to have accountability partners. This is just in general, one of the best life rules I've learned is to when you want to do something, you actually talk about it with other people. Because for some reason, just before I, I, uh, I left Belgium to go to New York like a year ago, I knew that the only way I could make New York happen, that I could move over there, is for our people in New York to care about me being there. And right now, there are people that care about me being in New York, and now I'm here. So they keep pushing me, it's like, hey, how's it going? Like, when are you coming back? Stuff like that, and this is important. In yesterday's video, or two days ago, I talked about planning ahead. I mean, I, I went over it pretty briefly, but that's very important when you're building your runway. Because you have to tell people, this is how long I'm going to be building my runway and then I'm out of here. Like, that's very important. Like right now, I told my, my boss, I told the people I'm working with, like, look, I'm going to be here till August and that changed till, to, uh, till October. But I'm going to be here till October and then I'm out of here. Like, that's it. And then I showed them some stuff I did before so that they knew I could do it and that they didn't have to train me and stuff like that. And yeah, they're fine with it, but they have to know this in advance. It's just very important if you're building your runway to tell other people when that runway will be built and don't worry about it changing later on because it just does. Like it, it moved back three months for me, that's fine. But just keep reminding people that this is just a step in your life and that you're not going to stay there. Because if you don't, you'll get trapped in that, in that step and you'll never make it to the next. So. Anyway, that was just something I was thinking about when I was on my, uh, on my drone mission today. And uh, I hope this was helpful to you in any way. And that's going to be it for this video, so I'll see you guys next time.